Good morning, you guys. Another beautiful day in the Florida Keys. We're actually, there's no one around and there's no buildings on these upper, upper keys, like, or I don't see any. So it kind of almost feels like we're in the Bahamas a little bit. Water's nice and clear and uh, I don't know, pretty cool. So we have a light southeast wind and today I think we're gonna go try to lobster and or spearfish a little bit. Is that right? We're trying to figure out where we can go. There's a lot of regulations in the Keys, like where you can and can't go, and it can get a little bit confusing, especially if you're not familiar with them. So Sierra is looking them up and making sure we're all legal. I think we're gonna try to sail off anchor today. There's nobody around. The only shallow spot is upwind, so I think we're gonna hoist the sails and see if we can sail right off anchor without even starting the engines. Let's do it. Anchor's up, sailing off anchor. Ah, this is a life, right Jets? Okay, we made it to a reef. We got our dive flag. Teddy's got our umbrella. We're gonna go get some lobster for dinner. Wish us luck. No lobster tonight. We're having chicken. You know, we didn't try it for too long. And, but no luck either way. We don't really know what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, we're doing some research now to see where we can get lobster. We're going to try again tomorrow, maybe even do some spear fishing. And it's supposed to be super, super calm tomorrow, so nice light wind and we'll take adrenaline out there, I think, and um, do some lobstering and spear fishing. We did see some dolphins that played with us today. Oh, that was cool. So far, coolest part of the trip, I think, right? everybody say hi Jetty we are heading right through Angelfish Creek here a little cut to get out into the onto the ocean side of the Keys 
rather than the bay side where we were anchored last night. We're gonna do a little bit of lobstering. We're taking the adrenaline instead of the dinghy and we're gonna give it another shot today. We're gonna take it seriously today. None of this fooling around. And uh, hopefully we get some lobster. Lobster today? No, but maybe we'll catch a fish. <laughs> so the regulations for lobstering and spearfishing here in the Keys are kind of, to someone just looking at them for the first time, they're kind of confusing. So we've been like studying them yesterday just to make sure we're going in the right spot and everything and not going in the wrong spot specifically. And this isn't the first time that we've looked at them. We've done this so many times and it's still so confusing. So um, we have to go just a tiny bit north or just north of where we are right now. Once we're done lobstering for the day, we're gonna uh, cruise down south and get to like what Rodriguez Key it was? Yep, right off the Isla plantation. plantation. Get down there. This is the spot where we saw all those dolphin yesterday. That was so cool. Hopefully they come out again. We're right next to Ocean Reef Club, this pretty exclusive community on the end of Key Largo. Actually, one of the toughest things about having a dog on the boat is trying to find places to walk her. Yeah, like bring her to the bathroom. And it's great when there's beaches around and stuff, but in the Keys, there's not a lot of beaches. So you just gotta kind of find docks and stuff. And I found on, on the map, will look to be like a little mini marina because you saw some of the same sailboats and stuff. I don't know, but it was an Ocean Reef Club and it was very private and I just, they said I wasn't allowed to <laughs> land the dinghy there. You are seeing these bonnethead sharks everywhere. Holy smokes, they are everywhere. Wow, look at that little guy. That's crazy. They were moving with us, but now we're behind. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's like a ton more up there. Were they with us the whole time? Yeah, trying to climb in front of us. And all over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my god, there's so many. Are they all bonnet heads? Yeah. Alright, we're out in the ocean now. We're just trying to get outside uh, Penny Camp Park where we can't lobster. So we're just trying to get outside this red line here. And then I think we're good to go. We can see really well into the water, so we're just looking for any type of structure or coral head or anything like that that maybe lobster can be hiding under. So, super clear. Look how clear it is. And flat. Sierra's on the bow scouting it out. You see anything? I saw a turtle, a big jack, a plastic bag, and lots of sharks. We're at like three miles now and all the water switched from like a greenish to way more of a bluish color. It's super, super clear right now. Still super calm. Still looking for ledges and rocks and stuff to find some lobster, but we're close. Now we know all the patch reef are out here. Just gonna get on one and start diving. We got one. All right, we went off about five miles where it drops off to deeper water and we just got the lines over. But we're doing a little fishing. Sierra's getting her workout in back here. How you doing? Beautiful flat conditions out. Oh, so nice. Look at that. Oh, it doesn't get any better than that.
been motoring here for a few hours. Still no fish, but still super calm. Saw so little schools of bait fish, a turtle, um, dolphin, couple dolphin. That's about it. Nothing on our lines though. We got a few more miles to go before we start to turn in and head towards Rodriguez Key. Oh, where'd he go? Wow, look at that sky. He was like swimming in <laughs> There was also a big turtle. And, did you tell them? What? We saw a huge hammerhead. No, I didn't tell them. It was huge. just swimming along. That was crazy, right next to the boat. Gigantic hammerhead. You didn't grab the camera in time. Tonight for dinner we are having grass-fed strip steak, which I pretty much ate already, freshly caught lobster, broccoli, and acorn squash. <laughs> 